Come on, molasses. I want to see our project while we're still young. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign, like real scientists. Today, the Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. Since the mid 20th century, scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, someday you might see the brightly striped clownfish, or even the menacing. I mean, in that one, Howard. You name one. Uh. Leviathan. Love it! Yeah. Didn't you used to date a marine biologist? She's an astronaut now. Whoa, really? How'd she make that? That's pretty common, I guess. Algae farms are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of products, from colorants to pharmaceuticals. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. When's Rick gonna get here? He just texted. Said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today's suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? I would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. It can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What, you scared? Of sharks, the dark, tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Let's go to the main hall. Special exhibits upstairs. Did you call that back? There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them, scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Oh, I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Not from space. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks, anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? 
The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones would work. They won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. This Oscorp program, adapted from models currently used on the moon, can be operated as a man or unmanned vehicle. Used to carry minerals and find water sources. Stands for minerals, carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down the fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> we need something Not gonna reflective. help us get past that door. Wish we'd have museums like this, right? Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. Think it's a meta material? Must be. Wonder if it's using a phononic band cap. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I still need something reflective. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with a neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh. From multiple... This issues. model proposes a terraforming and housing you can handle it? on Mars. With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. It's like a whole little community <laughs> on Mars. I'll supply the coffee. coffee shops. Well and done. street art. Cool. I couldn't do this without you. They're not helpful. We should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our lab. Oh, Doc, I'm so sorry, but I've got to take the afternoon off. It's an emergency. Again? Peter, is something bigger going on? Perhaps at home? You know you can talk to me about it. I, I'm, I'm fine, but I'm sorry to run out on you again. Not at all. Work will be waiting when you get back. Thanks, Doc. We should look around for an energy display. I saw something about solar energy near the locked door. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. Let's keep looking for something we can use. I think you're right. The solar energy display probably has something we can use. Look, solar mirrors, and sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light-sensitive lock. I'll put the sticker on the metal. Let's go. I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. 
Gotta hurry. something else no not quite we got to try again That worked! We did it! Come on! Our project awaits! That was awesome! I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello? You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday settling our solar system. Are you? Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey! Oh, ho, ho, wee! Would you look at that? 
Genuine award-winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, huddle up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles. I am not saying that.
Finn destroys the reactor. <laughs> Yankee, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Matt, rocks on an underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe? My mom? We made it. This was about a dozen people. <laughs> You're breaking up. Who are you? Yankee! If you can hear me, I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please. Please. Ah. I've never seen a storm this bad. <laughs> 